The armature is the central part of your power tool's motor. It consists of windings, the commutator, a cooling fan, and the drive shaft. The armature along with the field create an electromagnetic field that causes the armature to spin. The carbon brushes transfer electricity to the armature through the commutator. Over time, the commutator will wear from this constant contact. If the tool is overloaded, the armature can overheat, and the insulation around the windings will burn away, creating a short circuit. When this occurs, there will be excessive sparking from the motor brushes and smoke or a burning smell from the motor. Replacing the armature is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear cover. Next, the side cover. I'll remove two of the screws that secure the transmission to the housing. And now I can separate the housing. Now I'll remove the other two screws that are holding the transmission to the housing. With the screws removed, I can pull this unit away from the housing. As I do, I want to be careful that I don't lose the two small springs on the underside of the selector. Now I'll remove the tension springs from the brushes. Now I can remove the transmission and motor assembly from the housing. Now I'll separate the gearbox from the motor. And I'll separate the yoke from the armature. Now I can begin installing the new armature. I'll slide the yoke onto the armature. And I want to make sure that this notch is on the same side as the gear. Now this assembly is ready to be reattached to the gearbox. I align the gears and press it into place. Now I'll reinstall the selector lever. On the transmission, there's a post that has a small tab that aligns with one of the springs. To install the selector, I'll align the post on the transmission with the two springs on the selector. Now I can place the gearbox and motor assembly back into the housing. As I do, I need to align the notch on the yoke with the tab on the housing. I'll align the commutator with the brush holder. Make sure that the selector slides into the housing. And rotate the yoke around so that it also aligns with the housing. Now I'll place the brush springs back onto the brushes. And now I'll reinstall the housing. And now I'll reinstall the rear cover.
and that's all it takes to install a new armature in your cordless drill. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.